And now, presented by Sprite, the 2K pregame show. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal on 2K Sports, and the NBA season is about to begin. We'll watch the Charlotte Hornets in this one as they go up against the San Antonio Spurs. Well, for San Antonio, there's been a lot of discussion about them in the offseason, and even though today won't count in the standings, still such an exciting day in the NBA. got NBA basketball in store for you. We're live at the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas. The home of the Spurs, live on 2K Sports. You're in for a treat as we bring you NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg with Doris Burke reporting from the sidelines. So let's take a look at the Charlotte starting lineup. Anderson and MKG will fill out the wings. Marvin Williams is out there with Al Jefferson. And it's Walker in at the point. Five to shoot. Duncan with a screen on Walker. Parker's shot is off. He got the shot he wanted off that pick, just couldn't get it to fall. But Steve, they'll take that play all day long, 10 times out of 10. That was good action. Now here's Walker. Left side, Williams. Goes up on the block. The shot, no good. Empty that time from Leonard. Well, some nights Kawhi Leonard will give you 20 points, some nights he'll give you six, but he always keeps his focus on the defensive end of the court where he's become the Spurs designated stopper. About a minute played so far here in the first. Here's Charlotte now. It's a three-point game. It's stolen by Green. And now, running up the court, Leonard pushing it up. No good from Duncan. Spurs on defense. Outside Jefferson. Here's Henderson. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. For three. Here's Parker. Pass to Leonard. Sinks that one from the post. Leonard's got his first points of the game. That was a thing of beauty by Parker. And so here's Charlotte. And Walker kicks to Jefferson. Kid Gilchrist against Leonard. And it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating, and the shot is good. Now here's Parker. Raise it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that. Really aggressive play, taking it to the rim against the big man. Tell you what, I love that fearless attitude. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Kevin, earlier I had a chance to speak with Greg Popovich. I asked him what their focal point would be defensively, and he said that Al Jefferson is at the top of their scouting report. With his smooth, low post repertoire and mid range shooting touch, he can put up points in a hurry. He said they'll try to steer him to his left hand as much as possible and just hope for the best. Kevin will see if they can force him into a tough night. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. Now, here's Green after Henderson's miss. Parker outside. The feed to Duncan. There's a good screen. No good. Uh, he's been trying to add that mid-range shot to his arsenal, but it still isn't there. Well, what can you say about the Spurs at home? I mean, they've been dominant here for so long. It's a shot. 
whenever they lose at home. The Spurs were dominant at home once again, as you mentioned, guys. 32 wins for them, Steve, and they shot great. Absolutely great in this build. Well, you don't win 50 games for 15 straight years, Kevin, without being dominant at home. And that's what the Spurs have done. So they just get the job done. I mean, they're tough to beat here in San Antonio, and obviously a wonderful shooting ball club. Al Jefferson last season posting about 22 points and 11 boards. Still not selected in as an all-star. And when you think about it, Big Al undoubtedly one of the most productive players never to receive an all-star nod. Here's Walker. Kawhi Leonard making his last shot. Walker dishes to Williams. Shot is blocked. Parker with it. Kicks it to Duncan. The dish to Leonard. And the three off. Target. And Jefferson, a terrific locker room presence, leading the Bobcats back to the playoffs, Clark, for the second time in franchise history. Yeah, they run their whole offense through him, and with good reason, Kevin. He's not just their scoring leader. He's also... As you indicated, their leader, period. He's easy going, he's friendly. Yep, and he gets other guys to toe the line. Well, they weren't, weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. They better not. They've got to pad their lead any time an opportunity presents itself. And I'll tell you what, that was a golden one there. Walker the pass to Henderson. Inside to Jefferson. Tries to snap the cold streak, and the bank shot is good. Boy, he can be a matchup nightmare. Inside the paint. Pal Jefferson, 6'10", over 280 pounds, and he's got a 9'2 standing reach. He's got the size to play center, but hasn't always been a great defender at that position. I thought Charlotte really put him in a good position last year, however, with their scheme, and he was very effective. Charlotte making a switch here. Biombo is checked in for Jefferson. Zeller comes in for Williams. And Stevenson's checked in for Kid Gilchrist. And Mo Williams subbed in for Gerald Henderson. And so here's Charlotte following the miss by Tony Parker. Stevenson. And can't hit. And Al Jefferson, not the fleetest of foot, but a good nose for the ball. You know, he's always been a terrific rebound. And I've said before, the rebound isn't about how high you jump. It's about how physical you are and how hungry you are to get after the ball and timing and positioning. And he's actually...